Good evening and welcome. I'm Andrea Mulrine. I'm the president of the League of Women Voters of Lackawanna County, and I'd like to welcome all of you here this evening to the University of Scranton for our first debate of the season with the candidates for the 22nd Senatorial District, John Blake and Frank Scavo. The League of Women Voters is a nonpartisan political organization that encourages the informed and active participation in government and influences public policy through education and advocacy. We do not support any candidate in particular, we do support issues. And we invite you to join the League of Women Voters and uh, if you're interested in uh, helping to inform and engage the electorate, we have membership forms out on the front table and Jean Harris and Bonnie Oldham are sitting in the front uh, row here. They're both board members for the League, so if you've got questions about what we do or who we are, we invite you to ask myself or Jean or Bonnie. Um, Tonight, as I said, uh, we'll be debating with the candidates for the 22nd Senatorial District. The rationale for our questions is that we believe that democratic government depends upon the informed and active participation and that it also requires governmental bodies to protect the citizens' right to know by giving adequate notice of proposed actions, holding open meetings, making public records accessible. In addition, we believe that responsible government should be responsive to the will of the people. It requires integrity and accountability. Tonight, we'd like to thank the University of Scranton for uh, allowing us to use uh, the facilities here on campus. We'd also like to thank ECTV for uh, taping this event and allowing us to uh, broadcast it over our website. It'll be added to our website within the next week. Um, we'd also like to thank uh, Keystone College, who will be our partner in an upcoming debate next week on October 19th. We'll be hosting a debate for the candidates in the 114th Legislative District. Uh, that's Sid Michaels, Kavulich, and Dan Naylor. In addition, I'd like to let you know about a couple of other debates that are coming up so that you can be informed about all of the candidates who will be on the ballot this year. Uh, our candidates here this evening will be debating next week as well on Tuesday evening at WVIA, and that will be broadcast live at 7 p.m. Um, also on WVIA, the 10th Congressional District between Chris Carney and Tom Marino, that will be Wednesday, October 27th, also broadcast live at 7 p.m. The 11th Congressional District, that's Paul Kanjorski and Lou Barletta, uh, on Thursday, October 28th at WVIA, also at 7 p.m. On, uh, let's see, on then going to uh, PCN TV, on Saturday, October 16th, this coming Saturday at 7 p.m., the gubernatorial candidates will debate uh, in Pittsburgh, and that will be carried live on PCN TV. So between ECTV, PCN TV, and WVIA, all of the races that are on the current ballot will be covered. So I invite you to check out the websites for those stations and also the League of Women Voters website, lwvlackawanna.org, where we've provided links to additional information. The format for tonight's program is that uh, this should be approximately a 60-minute debate. Um, none of the questions have been given to either candidate in advance. Neither have we given them any topics or talked to them at all about what we're going to ask them. The, each candidate will answer the same set of questions. All questions will have a two-minute timed response limit, except for the first round, which will require just a yes or no answer. The first candidate to answer a question will then be able to rebut for one minute after his opponent responds to that question. And they don't have to rebut, it's their choice. And each candidate will be allowed a two-minute closing statement. There are no opening statements. I would like to introduce both of the candidates to give you a little bit uh, more information about who they are. John Blake is the Democratic candidate. He grew up in Archibald and still lives there today. He went to Valley View High School and earned, then went on and earned a uh, degree in sociology from Villanova University, a master's degree in social work from Marywood College, an MBA in finance from the University of Scranton's Kenya School of Management, and he completed executive education and public management at Harvard University's John F. Kennedy School of Government. Um, John has had a varied career 
in uh, government service, serving as the executive director of Lackawanna County Redevelopment Authority. He also worked with the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. He went on to the uh, private sector and worked at PNC Bank and then became the director uh, for the Northeast Pennsylvania Office of the Governor. And then finally was the Community and Economic Development uh, Chief Operating Officer. Currently, he is teaching here at the University of Scranton and also doing some part-time consulting. So John, we welcome you here this evening. Thank you, Andy. John's opponent on the Republican ticket is Frank Scavo. Frank is a lifelong resident of Northeastern Pennsylvania grew up and lives in Old Forge. He earned an associate's degree in business management from Keystone University and uh, completed professional development courses in human relations and effective negotiations. Frank uh, has, uh, is no stranger to uh, public service as well. He was an elected school board member of the Old Forge School Board, uh, serving eight years as a director and also presided as president of the Old Forge School Board and at one time the budget and the finance chairman. Uh, Frank is currently managing LKQ Keystone in Old Forge, where he has worked for 21 years, and his family has been involved in several different uh, and entrepreneurial enterprises over the years. So welcome to both of you. Thank you for being here this evening. 